Check this out. <laughs> you should check out Vegan Power Co. on Instagram. Yes. That's where I got the tank. She just started and making... And it is a tank. What? Tanks. What? And vegan pizza leggings. Uh -huh. And Hats. a bunch of pins and stickers that are super cool. She designs them herself. And a t-shirt with the same design. I'm a size large in women's, apparently. I'm wearing my friend's band's tank. Great, good, fine, okay, check them out. They're so cool. I went to college with him and now they're like touring the US and they draw up huge crowds and their music is awesome. I'm addicted to it. Shameless plug. Hey guys, I'm Anna. And I'm Brian. And we are Those, Those Annoying, Annoying Vegans. Vegans. <laughs> and today we are going to show you how to make a breakfast that is super fast, super simple, and super nutritious. This is our super, super oatmeal. oatmeal. Yeah, it turns out you don't need to eat chicken periods, pig flesh, or cow breast milk to fulfill a huge portion of your daily values worth of various macronutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Yeah, I mean oatmeal by itself, great breakfast. It's very healthy. All we did was add a few ingredients for those nutrients that you can only, only find, find in animal, animal products. products. Things like calcium and iron and protein and vitamin B12 and vitamin D and omega-3s, except our super oatmeal has fiber, fiber. <laughs> and zero cholesterol. And as always, this recipe is delicious, affordable, and exceedingly easy to make. So let's make it. Let's make it. So we painstakingly went through every single ingredient in this dish to prove to you that you can in fact match or exceed many of the vital macronutrients, vitamins, and minerals that you might find in a standard American breakfast. Mm -hmm. We compared it to two eggs, three strips of bacon, one cup of 1% milk, two pieces of toast, whole wheat. whole wheat, and one tablespoon of butter to like put on the toast. Right? That sounds about... It's Maybe pretty average, average American average. breakfast, I would say. Yeah. Bacon and eggs, a lot of people, that's their staple. Our standard American breakfast had 37 grams of protein. Ours has 38. <laughs> <laughs> and even so, protein, people really overestimate how much protein you need to consume on a daily basis. I mean, obviously, everybody's protein needs vary slightly depending on what you're doing with your body, whether it's like bodybuilding yeah. or just maintaining healthy protein levels. Yeah, your average sedentary man needs about 50 to 60 grams a day. Your average sedentary woman needs about 40 to 50 grams a day. This has 38 in it already. In just one meal. Yeah, I mean, you can omit the hemp protein powder if you want and you'd still be at 33. One cup of oats alone has 12 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent of two eggs. But guess what else eggs have? A lot. Of cholesterol. I mean, with two eggs, you're already exceeding your cholesterol by a lot. And you shouldn't be consuming extra cholesterol anyway. If you're following the FDA recommendation, they advise that you stay under 300 milligrams a day and two egg yolks is already close to 400. So you're already at 125% of the recommended cholesterol, which again, should be zero. We get zero points for cholesterol oh. because there is none. How much cholesterol was there in our standard American breakfast? 148% of your daily value. That's not including the cholesterol that you're going to consume at lunch and dinner, because I assume if you eat animal products in the morning, you're probably gonna eat it for lunch and for dinner, mm -hmm. and your body can't handle that constant onslaught of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. You need to reduce your cholesterol intake and let your arteries start healing. And you have studies out there telling you that cholesterol is really not as bad as you thought it was. Oh, and yeah. go for it, eat the eggs, it's okay. Don't worry. Just look at who's sponsoring those studies. You could argue that one egg a day is too much. Especially for children. According to Dr. Greger, the average American already has fatty streaks in their arteries before they even turn 18. Even in 15 to 19 year olds, atherosclerosis, 
has begun in a substantial number of individuals. It takes another 20 years or so before you actually suffer a heart attack, but we kind of want to just nip that one in the bud. If there is anyone watching this video that is older than 10 years of age, the choice likely isn't whether or not to eat healthy to prevent heart disease. It's whether or not you want to reverse the heart disease you already have. B12. So they say you can't get B12 if it's not coming from animals. Impossible. Lies. Just one cup of soy milk is fortified with 50% of your daily value of B12. Also, breakfast cereals are usually fortified with B12 too, so if you put soy milk on breakfast cereal, mm. you're in pretty good shape. Like we've said before, they give B12 supplements to livestock. It's mm -hmm. silly to ingest all of that cholesterol, all of that saturated fat, all of those hormones and, and lipids, et cetera, et cetera, just to get some B12. Flaxseed. Yeah, they sell eggs that are fortified with omega-3s, but it's really a marketing thing because mm -hmm. in order for eggs to even have omega-3s, they supplement the chicken's diet with flaxseed. Why not just eat the flaxseed ourselves? Yeah. We even found this website where they talk about omega-3 eggs versus standard eggs, and they say humans need omega-3s, which come from sources like fish oil and eggs, and they say, so to add omega-3s to the eggs, what we do is we feed hens flaxseed. <laughs> which they didn't list in the <laughs> They list. didn't list it as a source of omegas. <laughs> it's like the B12 supplement. It's unnecessary. Just eat it yourself. Yeah. What are you doing? There's varying information out there as to how much omega-3 fatty acids you should consume. Dr. Michael Greger recommends one or two grams of ALA every day, in addition to 250, at least 250 milligrams of preformed EPA and DHA. If you will look at this standard American diet, you only get to 187. And our super oatmeal is 3,427. <laughs> Milligrams. Just the flaxseed alone, the two tablespoons of flaxseed we added to this, 3,200 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. That's why Michael Greger recommends that you take between one, one and two. two tablespoons of ground flaxseed mm -hmm. every day. Next, we got calcium. Mm. We exceeded calcium by about 8%. Our standard American breakfast has a total of 39% of your daily values worth of calcium and we have 47, most of it coming from the fortified soy milk, and then you have some scattered in the oats and the peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter actually has a little bit of calcium. Uh, Flaxseed, cinnamon, and hemp powder. Most people get their calcium from dairy. Right. And it's detrimental to your bones. This old notion that somehow milk is gonna build strong bones or protect your bones later in life, it's a myth. People that drink milk have higher rates of hip fractures, have more cancer, and live shorter lives. It turns out that countries with the highest dairy consumption also have the highest rates of osteoporosis. Then you have iron. Oh, you need red meat for iron, that's what I heard. Well, get this. Your standard American breakfast has 13% of your daily values worth of iron. Ours has 44%. What? Mm -hmm. That's craziness. Most of it comes from the oats. Now, when it comes to fiber, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Have you ever wondered why Stool softeners and laxatives are so popular. People seem to have a, a problem. Pooping. Yeah, it might be because in the entire breakfast that we put together as a standard American breakfast, there's only 14% fiber. And that came from the toast. Yeah. <laughs> That it doesn't from come toast. from the animal products. There's no dietary fiber in eggs, in bacon, in milk. Mm -mm. You need to eat plants. Guess how much our super oatmeal had? 96% fiber right here. And guess what? Every single ingredient in here has some percent of fiber, mm -hmm. with oats having the highest. That's what plants have. They have fiber. And it's a problem. <laughs> Most Americans get less than half the amount of fiber they need, but the conversation tends to always be about protein. We put up a meme recently on our Instagram. Where do you get your protein? Well, where do you get your fiber? Right. I mean, we don't need that much protein. It's been blown completely out of proportion. Where'd you get your protein? How are you gonna get your protein? <laughs> it's not a big deal. My no. protein was optimal. I would advise focus on the fiber and focus on the carbohydrates from whole plant foods. And too much protein is bad for you too. Diets that are really high in protein create diabetes, create heart disease, create cancer, create the diseases that, we're, that I'm treating on a daily basis. Yeah, people don't like to listen to T. Colin Campbell and Dr. Clapper and Dr. Greger and Dr. McDougal and all these doctors with their information. I know you don't wanna hear it, 
but it's true. And we also wanted to talk about vitamin D. Granted, there are many, many other vitamins and minerals we didn't touch on, but just for the purposes of the ones that people tend to talk about the most, vitamin D is one of those you can only get it from animal products. It's quite untrue. You have fortified orange juice, you have fortified soy milk, you have fortified almond milk. All your nut milks are fortified with vitamin D. Fortified cereals and you can also eat mushrooms. In this case, our standard American breakfast came in at 56%. Our breakfast came in at 30%. But let's remember this is just one meal. 30% times three is 90%. So we're kind of on track for vitamin D. You could eat your lunch outside. Or you can just take a vitamin D supplement if you're that worried about it. And what's so wrong with vitamin supplements? We only bring this up because we still hear it okay. all the time. Well, that comes to show how much more nutritional education we need as a society. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean watch the commercials and believe them because that's all marketing copy. <laughs> we know that, right? Do your own research. There are nutrition facts on the internet and on these nifty little things on the side of food products called labels. Yeah, you can read them. How cheap is this? I mean, mm. oats are cheap. Mm -hmm. They're dirt cheap. And bananas? Bananas are cheap. Flaxseed, just buy it in bulk and grind it yourself. Yeah. If you don't want to pay for the, you know, the pre-ground, pre-packaged stuff, but... Our, our Ralph sells um, flaxseed for $2.99 a pound. Yeah, if you buy it from, from the, the nut bar. Yeah, it's so simple. Someday we'll get through. Yeah. We'll break through the uh, nutrition barrier. They say, oh, you can't survive on a vegan diet. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I am before your eyes in better shape than you. That's usually the thing that gets me. Yeah. Is that the people telling me that I need meat and dairy and eggs for health, I'm usually in better shape than they are. Yeah. The proof really is in the pudding. That was Dr. McDougall's whole point when he got kicked out of the obesity conference was, look at these people that are recommending this diet. Do they look healthy? Mm -hmm. Then look at the people that are recommending a whole foods plant-based diet. Do they look healthy? In fact, both of us lost weight yeah. when we went vegan and we're not counting calories. And there are some days where we go to town. People are counting calories and not actually paying attention to what they're eating. Yeah which is the most ridiculous concept I have ever heard of in a diet. So, oh, this food is super bad for me, so I'll eat less of it. <laughs> it's like, why don't you switch over to a food that's good for you? Yeah. Guys, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. subscribe. We will bring you something new every week in the vegan verse. In the vegan verse. Of YouTube. And if you want to sport some cool vegan apparel, mm -hmm. we have some on our Store Envy website. Check mm -hmm. out the link below. And follow us on Instagram. We're yeah. very active on Instagram. Sorry about Facebook, guys. We don't really like Facebook very much. Mm, it's not really that. Um, it's almost like someone's uh, throttling the organic reach of all your posts on Facebook unless you pay to boost them. Mm. <laughs> that go <laughs> <laughs> Anything we're forgetting? We always forget something. We always forget something. We always forget to say something. And then, and then we're, then we're like, editing. Oh. And then Anna's like, I wish we had said this. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but we can't worry about that because we're because it's we're past that. Yeah, but I wish we would have said this. I gotcha. 100%. <laughs> Except we're currently editing the video. <laughs> That's why we like talking in the comments section. Yeah. So if, if we missed anything or if you're confused about anything or if you have any questions or if you want to throw us some shade, I guess. You, I mean, it's a free country. Feel you're free. welcome to. No, you can do it Rated right Rated PG shade. Because we want to keep this family friendly. And we like having discussions. We finished the oatmeal. Hey, that was one bowl. Time for bowl number two. <laughs> you get really full on vegan food. And it's great. I'm ready to sit down on the couch and watch some TV. Bye. Bye.